Welcome to this video, my name is Eva and in this video I talk about a super important topic. So maybe you have realized or even seen videos on YouTube with the title malnourished vegan or starving raw vegan or raw vegan eating disorder etc. And in these types of videos you can see basically um, small videos, so small snippets of a YouTube video um, from different people and some of them they obviously have an eating disorder so they are super skinny others might have a mental problem so they talking kind of nonsense and others are just normal people um, and, and with these types of videos um, or these videos want to say listen this is how you will look when you eat raw vegan or uh, when you eat vegan you're gonna starve and of course this is complete nonsense and I want to talk about this in these videos because I think it's super important because especially people who have never tried to eat raw vegan they don't know much they don't know much about the vegan lifestyle they might yeah, get shocked by these type of videos and they might not even want to try it at all. So first of all, I want to say that um, I think, um, yeah, that some of, yeah, that the videos are kind of disrespectful because of course there are people with eating disorders and there are people with mental issues. But first, why make videos about that? And second, I think they're also just normal people and the thing is, just because you eat raw vegan or just because you eat vegan, it doesn't mean that you have to look like a supermodel. You can still, um, yeah, your bone structure doesn't change just because you eat raw food. Of course, when you eat raw vegan, especially on a, like a fruit-based diet with lots of fruit and vegetables, your skin generally clears up and you have... Yeah, you have more energy, but it, you don't get automatically a nose job or you don't get automatically a different bone structure. And I think that beauty especially is just super in like it's just in the eye of the beholder. So for I, for example, some people think that I'm pretty and some people think that I'm ugly, you know, so it, and doesn't that make me No, it's like. I like myself the way that I am and just because someone thinks that I'm pretty or not it doesn't really affect me you know so I think it's just yeah disrespectful to put <laughs> normal looking people in this video and say that they're ugly I think that's really disrespectful you don't have to be a supermodel just because we eat raw vegan and also the same goes for aging there's um yeah just just because you eat raw vegan you're still allowed to get old and to have wrinkles and and to not be the perfect image of beauty in today's eyes it's okay to grow old kind of even if you eat a healthy diet that's really important the same with children i think it's there there were some snippets of children where i think it's completely normal and of course some children are skinny and others are not so skinny but it doesn't mean that they're unhealthy or something so i think that's quite disrespectful actually another thing that i want to mention is um that there were some people with eating disorders and this is definitely a thing that i want to talk about so especially in the vegan community unfortunately there are more people or not more but there are some people struggling with an eating disorder let it be bulimia or anorexia nervosa and that is true and unfortunately also people who are coaching so people who are um, providing information about this lifestyle, they're suffering with a restriction mindset or with, yeah, just plain eating disorders. And that is, of course, really terrible and, um, yeah, really sad and destructive that those people want to do good, but they're causing so much harm and suffering in other people and also maybe... Um, you know make other people fall into an eating disorder or in this de detox restriction mindset that you have to detox and detox and detox and detox so that is definitely really really um, a thing that is important to know where to get your information from so it's important to know okay this person looks anorexic probably this person has anorexia probably it's not the best to book him for coaching obviously and of course anorexia nervosa is something that has to be treated with therapy especially so it's there's this myth that meat eating disorders are just about food this is not true there there's a huge component of mental health and of yeah different things that has to be treated and 
Yeah, but still I want to say that eating vegan or eating raw vegan does not mean that it is an eating disorder. I think to the contrary, if you do it right, if you have the right coaching and you learn how to do it right, it is quite the opposite because it really, it is not a diet, you can eat as much as you want, it's super liberating. Um, so for me it's the opposite to an eating disorder, I would say. Um, yeah, but you have to... Uh, get the right coaching you have to get the right information to learn how to do it kind of the right way and the same with people with mental health issues and the same that we i think sometimes we think when we get to know this raw vegan lifestyle that this is going to change everything and i can definitely say that this is not the case i think when you're doing it for many years i'm doing it for five years now this raw vegan lifestyle and being vegan and vegetarian before that i can definitely say that it definitely influences you in a positive way you have more energy etc but you still have to deal with different issues with um maybe sadness depression and there are different areas in your life that you have to deal with still like romance or work etc so not everything has to do with diet. So just because someone has a mental health issue and eats a raw vegan diet doesn't mean that a raw vegan diet um, leads to health issues, you know, or to, to mental health issues. And of course, those people should go to, to go and do therapy to sort it out in a way. Another thing that I want to say is that uh, the creator of those videos um, with the malnourished, malnourished vegan etc he just took the snippets that look the worst so for example if I would film myself 24 hours and um, for sure there would be parts where I look completely tired or completely terrible or completely yeah not pretty <laughs> and there are also some times where I have a lot of energy where I look very happy so it really depends but when I, for example, would make um, 24 hours a video and then just take maybe 20 seconds right before I go to bed, I would look really, really tired, you know? But, that, but those 20 seconds don't repre represent my whole day. And I think that's the same with some of the videos that are part of the video that the of the vegan malnourished videos that he the creator basically took the worst videos for example there's um one family that eats a fruit-based diet and they're just so they're on youtube it's um happy parenting or something like that and they're so nice and so happy and then ba and they look super healthy also and then the creator of these means mean malnourished vegan videos took a really two seconds of like the worst part that he could find and I think that was definitely not fair so it's definitely important to remember that that it's the worst snippet another thing that is important to think is that there the videos promote um, a black and white thinking and it basically means that just because you see the videos and there are those people who have an eating disorder or who are super skinny but um, it, just because you're skinny also doesn't mean that um, you, you're unhealthy or something. Some people have a really high um, metabolism so they can eat a lot. So they're naturally more skinny, for example. So I think it's just important to not fall into that black and white thinking and to kind of, kind of think more. And yeah, I think that also comes with experience doing this lifestyle for a long time. Um, that you realize that yeah these videos make no sense another thing that i want to talk about is um ah is a really really funny thing and that is called uh, the ravigan jesus so maybe you know this type of person um i got this idea from ronnie a friend of mine and he basically said that there's this type of um people and this is the type of people who just go go into the raw vegan lifestyle and they don't really know much maybe they tried it for some weeks or for some months but yeah they don't have that much experience and they have an idealized form of thinking about the raw vegan diet that it's the answer to every problem and definitely i agree that a lot of huge 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 major problems could be solved when people go to eat vegan and specifically fruit-based raw vegan and that was would definitely be an answer to a lot of 
questions um, concerning health, etc. However, it is not um, the answer to every single thing. So what happens is that those people, it's mostly men, they feel like they are kind of superior and they need to preach. And then you can see them. Uh, it's very often that they are super skinny because they've done a lot of water fast or a lot of juice fast or something. That they're, So they are super skinny and then they have long beards. So they're kind of this hippie, skinny people and they preach about the amazing, incredible, especially spiritual benefits of, yeah, of a vegan or a raw vegan lifestyle specifically or a fruitarian lifestyle. And I think that's kind of funny because um, yeah, when you're 20 or 25, 28, I think there's so much to learn still. So to think that someone with 20 years old knows about every spirit, spiritual thing is just, yeah, it's just not true. And specifically about the robbing and diet, there's, you need to have experience to really, yeah, because in the beginning everything is so great, but with time you definitely learn a lot more. And yeah, I think just doing this lifestyle for a long period of time is really, really important for you to be able to know what works, what doesn't work and to have more experience. So it's just important to know that, um, yeah, this type of uh, raw vegan Jesus, for example, is just not representative. There are many, many people who do a raw vegan diet, fruit based diet or vegan diet, who are thriving, who are doing it correctly. They are kind of normal people also, and um, maybe not completely normal because, you know, you eat different and yeah, but still they they're still have a job, they still have a family maybe. And yeah, it's not, I think these videos specifically, these malnourished vegan videos, they they want to present vegans or raw vegans as different people and this is not the case you know it's just it's normal people who eat um, a healthier lifestyle who eat fruit based or vegan so it's not that we are the strange kind of people we're just normal people who eat a different way um i think another thing i think actually also <laughs> um yeah, another thing that is really important that I saw in the videos is that um, that some of those people, they had really yellow teeth. And I think it's important to mention it at this point that if you're trying a raw vegan diet, you still have to brush your teeth and you still have to take care of your teeth. And you really have to uh, be attentive to not overeat on dried fruit because it is like candy. And when you eat dried fruit, to always eat celery or cucumber, etc. afterwards so that you can balance, balance the pH or something so that there's a balance and it doesn't really attack your teeth. So that's really important. So if you get to know uh, someone who tells you that you don't need to brush your teeth, no, don't, don't follow this advice. Just brush your teeth and that's just, yeah, really important. So, and another thing, uh, the raw vegan. Raw veganism is not a religion, of course it can be your passion, but it's not like it's all there is. There are still different parts that are important. So yeah, but in the end I want to say that a fruit based diet is great and promoting it because this guy who made those videos of malnourished, video, of malnourished vegans, he basically is a promoter of eating meat, specifically in a raw state. And of course, this is super, super dangerous advice. It can harm, and it harms so many people who are eating that way and promoting that idea is super dangerous and harmful, which is, yeah, kind of a shame that he promotes that way of eating. Um, yeah, and the fruit-based diet is just really healthy. There's so much science um, surrounding that. There are great books out there to read about this lifestyle and to learn more if you want to learn more i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel that you can watch and i also have a website that you can check out i have ebooks that you can check out so i would be happy if you just take a look because yeah the website is quite nice and that's it for today i really hope that you have a nice day and if you have any questions or experiences or your opinion about those types of videos or maybe you've even been in such a video and you think that it's kind of disrespectful then write it in the comment section i would love to hear about it and please give this video a like and i see you in my next video and i hope yeah just the best for you bye bye